okay first we will create uh, the project to create a CLR uh, project click on file new project then click on other languages expand visual C++ then click on database here in the right side templates uh, we have to choose uh, SQL CLR SQL server project so I am naming this project as a SQL CLR project So that's all here. Uh, click OK. So it asks to uh, use the connection. So I'm using existing connection. Uh, if you want to create new connection, go with add new reference. For example, uh, once I click. Uh, if there is no connection uh, you'll be seeing this dialog so here you can specify your uh, SQL server name or the location of the SQL server after that you use either uh, Windows authentication or SQL server authentication you can provide username password here Once I provide that, uh, you can pick the database, test the connection, then uh, click OK. This way you can add a new database uh, connection. So here, uh, since I already added that, I am just uh, making use of this one. So I am clicking OK. That's all. Now uh, database project is uh, added. Next, we will add the SQL CLR trigger. So, what I am doing, I am clicking on the project name. So, you can directly choose trigger here, or you can go for a new item. Then, choose trigger here. So, I am naming this uh, trigger as uh, my CLR trigger. So I'm clicking add now. If you see, it created a default uh, trigger and it also provided a attribute. Here we can provide a name for our uh, CLR trigger, then we can specify uh, which table it is going to execute. Then we can specify the event whether it is insert or update or delete. After that, we can start writing the code. So, writing the code, I will explain uh, in a next video. So, I'm closing this video now.